Hi friends, today I am going to demonstrate you how to unbreak my Asus Zenfone Max Pro 1 using XGA Developers Guide and I am going to show you after unbreak I will be having unrooted stock ROM. So let's go ahead and uh, in case you need any help you can always go back to same XGA link where I have gone. I have posted the link in description box in the video. Please like, subscribe my video if you like it. So the problem is I had unbreaked my phone due to routing and flashing ROM and now I want to get it back to be normal like stock unrooted ROM with locked root loader. So this mostly works for all the stock ROMs where bootloader was unlocked unofficially. Please do visit the XTA developers guide for more details. So we are going to unbreak Asus Zenfone Max Pro M1 now. I am using XGA developers guide from this link. I have posted the link in description. So you can see this is the web page of XGA developers and step by step guide is already written by the author. I am not the original author I am just following his guidance. So here it says it can unbreak or restore my dev device to stock ROM with lot locked bootloader and unrooted state. So let's check if it really works. I am sure it will because this author and guide is very well known. Please update the drivers from this link so that you have latest ADB and fast fastboot drivers for your device on your computer. So when I was trying this, I had downloaded the 334 Asus Flash Tool ROM, but now android is already upgraded for this asus zenfone max pro to android 9 and even update for 10 has come so in case in future the updated rom is available you can download that also So I have saved this file already and extracted here. Okay. So you can also download from this link. Please ensure no space in the name of the folder. Probably you would like to keep it on the root of your drive and folder name should have no spaces. So now I'll go to adb folder and I'll start my adb commands. So first I'll go adb devices to check if my device is connected ok. Here it shows my ADB device is connected.
I have enabled ADB because I have already enabled developer options in settings in case you don't know how to enable developer options please comment I'll upload a separate video for that also in case you have not authorized your USB debugging then in place of device ID and device unauthorized is also written so you will automatically understand that something is wrong and you have to enable USB debugging in your settings this settings has to be changed on your mobile Asus Zenfone So in video you can see I have done a small mistake the command to reboot into bootloader is adb space reboot space bootloader you can see I have typed the instruction incorrectly as fast boot and then it did not reboot into fast boot mode so you have to correct it in place of fast boot it will be boot loader my apologies for the mistake okay now the phone boots into bootloader or fast boot mode whatever you would like to call it so now it's time to flash our ROM so after this all your data will be lost so if you want you should always take backup so how will you know you are in fast boot mode this is indicated by the screen where in green caption fast boot will be written 
so now I'm going into this folder where I had extracted my ROM remember there should be no spaces in the name of the folders it is advisable to keep the folder on the root directory only in my case I have used very short address f colon slash 334 underscore stock underscore ft versus flash tool so now here you will file one file just you have to double click it and see the flashing process has started now it may take very long depending on the speed of data link and your mobile so just sit back and relax okay now the flashing has completed in case this video has helped you please like share subscribe and comment thank you see you again